Swaz du Tenno. We're back at it again with Warframe. This time I'll be doing a run of the index because I'm pretty low on credits right now. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to wait for players right now because I don't want to don't want to go in solo. Although I know it'll fill your team with random Warframes if you do. So we'll wait here for a second just to see if we can at least snag one person. I was reading up on the index, and uh, there's a few tips and tricks here that I can read out to help anybody who, who might be curious in watching this video. Um, if you're playing solo and matching up with random teams, it is much more advisable to go with a low and medium risk uh, investment. So, because the payout will generally be higher as opposed to risking losing in the high investment. Let's see. Warframes that are good for this mode. Rhino's Iron Skin and Revenant's Mesmer Skin allow them to ignore financial stress penalties as long as they can keep these abilities up, making them effective index point, car index point carriers. Wisp, which is what I'm using today, um, is also good due to her stealth passive while in the air, combined with the buffs uh, provided by her reservoirs. Those are the... <laughs> We're not going to wait here any longer. Oh well. I did end up snagging one more person, what do you know? <sighs> goal of the game, kill people, pick up their points, and take them back to your goal. Got a third person. Three index points? That's fine. Generally, you want to carry at least 15. That's kind of the maximum efficiency of it. But, uh... That's annoying. There we go. I was so confused for a second. I was like, what is going on? I gotta put down a buff here. This is where we spawn, so... That's what we wanted. Carnage. Points everywhere. Wonderful. Carnage. Points everywhere. Wonderful. Got him. Right in the finances. This setup for the Boss of Prime would be really good if, it, if I could buff the reload speed a little bit. You can see I've buffed the shit. I mean, the crap. <laughs> out of, out of uh, the fire rate. I only have two index points. I should get more. I'm stuck. 
I have two financial stress, so... Okay, Diggy will defend. I'm gonna get that energy. I can melt their shields pretty easy, but uh, the issue is they have pretty strong armor as well. Back to defense. That is not good. I'm so confused right now. I don't do index a lot, so uh... My, de My defender's gone. Come on, grab it. Oh, he's buffing it. That's a friendly. <laughs> Holy crap, I did not want to get hit by that. I didn't even get a proper look at it. Just get out of here with 50. If that guy could bank, that'd be awesome. There we go. That's what we needed. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
That was really good. The Lex Prime's fire rate really worked out well that round, although I could not find a good way to get past their armor. I tried to mod out my Destreza Prime to, uh, for a corrosive build, see if it could help, but that kind of felt weak as well. Basel Prime was really good against the shields. Its constant proccing and the magnetic damage was um, highly effective against shields, that's for sure. Nice. I started out with uh, 30,000 there. I <laughs> boosted right up to 200k. So yeah, as you can see, the index is a really good way of getting credits. It should be of note that um, credits gotten from the index are affected by credit boosters and credit boosting event events as well. I think I think there was a bug in the past where uh, where the if you were to run the index immediately after getting your daily tribute, which would double the rewards from the mission you would complete, it wouldn't it wouldn't give you double the credits. But uh, I think they patched that. Um, in terms of multiplying uh, your credits gotten from the index, cred if you combine a credit booster with an event that boosts credits as well, it will it'll stack. It'll give you fourfold. So overall, it's definitely definitely worth uh, doing. And if you're doing it a lot, why not make a loadout for it, right? I wonder what happened to that rando. Maybe he disconnected <laughs> or rage quit. I don't know. Anyway, we need to get something to deal with their armor. This is good. Corrosive Projection is a aura mod for the Warframes. It will... I don't think I've actually upgraded this yet. Let's, uh, let's do that really quick. Ah, oh, there it is. Now that I have the credits, let's go! <laughs> I can see how the index can like get addicting. I'm getting all the credits. Here we go. Yeah, I think I can do without that. I think corrosive project projection is much more useful than energy siphon. Uh, for this. Let's mod the Lex to... Operator, you have remembered well how the Tenno arm themselves. What I want to do here, what I'm thinking is, I'm, I'm trying to decide whether I should have the Distreza be for shields or for armor. Let's just try armor for now. And then this guy will be for armor as well. Just have to change it. Which sucks. I liked having Ice Storm and Frostbite being able to be a thing. Oh yeah. Okay, I was trying to look at the damage types and I was like, why is he still doing magnetic? It's funny. Dang. Okay. So these guys actually use the uh, investors in the index. They use alloy armor, not a uh, not ferrite.
Oh, we still need lethal torrent. That's what allowed me to fire so quickly. At least one of the things. There it is. That is gas. Looking for radiation. Is it this? Yeah, I found it. <laughs> a brain fart right there. Man, I should really put more forma on my Lex Prime here. I can already tell this is going to be doing less damage out of the gate. Yeah, I'm not too good at modding. If you guys have any tips on how to how to make it work better, I would be glad to take some advice. <laughs> Honestly, trying to figure out a good mod build is actually stressful for me. I don't know what to do. <laughs> that was definitely the right thing to do. <laughs> Damn. Awesome. Imagine if I have an, if I had enough mod capacity to put the Hornet strike on. All right, now to just take advantage of the last four here. something to modify its performance. No, it doesn't do anything. That's good. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm going to check something really quick. I'm trying to get the AK Lex, Lex Prime, so, you know, it can obviously perform better. Um, okay, I just need the Orkin Cells and the Blueprint for it. Let's do another run. I wonder if the Naros is any good for survivability. I have a uh, health damage to energy build. Basically infinite energy, right? I don't know where to go. Ooh. Give me that. Oh, he took all of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's this is not the play. <laughs> Capitalization. 
Here's ours. I need to put reservoirs down at the spawn point. That's good enough. For now, until I get more energy. I'm banking pretty low. There we go. Lex Prime is, this build is definitely a little more effective against the armor. Where did he go? <laughs> what a steal. I am so low in health, okay. I'll just sneak right behind these guys. Oh, he's banking. Oh, I got him. I would stop them, but I have too many, too much to uh, fight for. Nah, we're alone. Let's just get out with what we have. Imagine being an NPC, man. Must be rough. So I was thinking about um, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here by the way, but I'm gonna discuss something with you guys first. I was thinking about kind of turning this for a little bit into like a guide channel. Like if I were to do my research and to you know properly help and and turn this channel into like a like a Warframe guide or a Destiny guide. But I would of course be doing playthroughs like Terraria for funsies and stuff. But it'd also be cool to do instructional videos like that. And I, I say that also because my most viewed video so far is my is my ISO vault farming. And I think it's because that title was um people are people are looking that up and I just I don't feel like that's fair to them when they when they pull up my video and they're like, Oh, this is just a guy chilling on ISO vaults. He's not actually gonna tell us how to do anything or like tips and tricks or anything like that. So Yeah, I think that's 
that's the direction I'm going to I'm going to go for a little bit. Um See how that works out. I hope it's helpful to you guys as well. Cuz I know this game can be a uh, pretty hefty. <laughs> it not a, I won't even say pretty hefty starting out. Like I'm MR16. That's not that's not that's not too far in. That's decent. And I still think this game is just a load, <laughs> an absolute chunk. Absolute unit. So I hope I hope these guide videos can help you guys out. And with that, I wish you all a great day. Show out, Tenno.